Hey guys, I wanted to put a little video out to talk about two topics. Uh, one I told myself I would never do, and that would be uh, Fox and News, because I'm not very good at news stories and things of that nature. However, there's one news item here I do want to talk about, and it's Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. And I just quickly want to tell you that steroids, uh, this, that, the other thing, one of these guys not wanting to fight, that is absolutely not what's going on here uh, with this fight. What's going on with this fight is Tank Davis has 14 other, I want to stress that word, other, not this last domestic violence thing in uh, Florida, but other charges, 14 other charges. I believe all of those 14 charges may be felonies, but don't hold me to that. And what's going on with this fight right now is uh, Golden Boy Promotions wanted to push, 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 get a contract signed as soon as possible. Now, why would De La Hoya want to do that? Here's why he would want to do that. If you've got a five... Uh, if you get a fight signed and then the fight doesn't happen, uh, there's insurances and guarantees and all sorts of little intricate things that go on with these fights that De La Hoya is trying to force the issue, get a contract signed as quickly as possible, because if the fight does not take place, which I'm convinced that it, it, it won't take place with or without a contract signing, that this fight won't take place in April, uh, because I think Tank's in some serious, serious trouble here. And uh, De La Hoya knows that, and it'd be a quick way to make some quick dough uh, off of your guy not even having to have a fight with that possibility lurking. In other words, it's possible he can make quick, uh, good money, uh, not as much as the fight, but if Tank can't be in that fight uh, because maybe he's in jail or whatever happens there, uh, that he can... If he gets that contract signed quickly, and that's why there was a forcing of the contract issue, uh, so he can make some money off of a fight that more than likely is not going to happen anyway. That's the whole hoopla there. It's not steroids. It's not, are we fighting at 135 or 140? or It's just none of that. Uh, De La Hoya did the smart thing and came out and said, I want to sign this right now. And he's trying to force the issue to get something signed as quickly as possible because he's not a stupid guy and his lawyers and those people aren't stupid either. And they're trying to force the issue so they can make some money on a fight that's probably not going to happen anyway. That's what I, I'm... 90% sure of it. So, past that, uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about is we're on our third gym here in a city that there's, I believe, I know there's over 10 million people here, but I believe it's possibly 12 million people and we can't find no no we go into a gym and here's what we're getting uh yeah we can train your son we can do this we can do that uh 
but they don't want none of their guys to spar Joe. And I'm like, oh my God, get real here. So I think a lot of this stuff and little videos that Joe puts out, most people aren't able to pick up on how good he's actually getting. Uh, but these trainers are seeing something because, uh, you know, we walk into a gym, they're actually sparring when we walk in. And there again, they'll be like, oh, yeah, we want to train him. We, we'll do this. And they start promising you the moon. And then I'm like, okay, now when, when can he spar? And they're oh, no, no. My guys? Joe Spar. My guys? No, we're not doing that. So, uh, I know Joe's a big guy for 14. He's about 5'9". He's weighing on average 185 to 195. He's a big boy. And I can understand that it would be hard for them to get someone anywhere near that size at 14 years old but we we haven't asked for that and as a matter of fact we're like we, we know that he's going to have to spar guys that are older than him and possibly more than likely he's going to have to spar men grown men uh because he's a big fella it it what you see on video is not giving justice to his size. I can attest to that. And I'm not embellishing a thing on on that. Uh, so we're, we're still having a hard time. I made an agreement with a guy this afternoon. I said, here's what we'll do. We'll, we'll pay you gym fee, whatever you want. Joe and I'll come in. I'll I'll tr continue to train him. Uh, if you can, if some of the guys here want to help out with some pad work or something like that with him, uh, things that where I've lost coordination where people can help him better, I'll pay for that, and we'll move on from there. And. Uh, it's, it's just ridiculous what's going on here in Colombia. Um, I've actually had a, a gym owner say, well, my, I, Joe ain't spar sparring our guys, but there's a guy that I would love Joe to manhandle and just rip apart in sparring over here to Sotheby. And I'm like, no, man, we're not, we're, we're not getting into any mess like that. Uh, that ain't what we're about here. And a third thing that I'll go ahead and mention, uh, Joe got two more 100s on quiz grades, and he's got uh, nine weeks exams coming up next week. And hopefully it's possible he just aces every exam and gets 100 on every exam. So... His mother and I are just tickled pink with that. Uh, we're still in the process of uh, finding another house or apartment here in Columbia where we live. And uh, thought we had somewhere, but it fell through, so we're still working on that. Uh, thought I had a couple of very nice places, but... These things have fallen through. Uh, his mother's, my wife, is not under a, she's a te school teacher and she's not under a contract right now. So it's possible we could end up in uh, Bogota or Medellin or Cartagena like I was originally wanting, but... Uh, it's looking more than likely that'll end up being what happens. And uh, I've done told Joe, even if we have to fly up to uh, Panama City in Panama to get some decent sparring and get some amateur matches 
through Panama, which I know would be easy to do, we may end up doing that. So anyway, I just wanted to explain some stuff about the Davis Garcia fight and that all these people are having all these soap opera designs going on in their brains and it's because this one's on steroids. It's because this one don't want to fight it this way. And that I don't think any of the reasons that are being given are logical and what's really happening here. And I think it's concerning legal issues. I think the pushing of the contract was De La Hoya wanting to get a quick guarantee because uh, – Tank's trials are going to be coming up very, very soon here, and they're going to be coming up before uh, uh, April fight date. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. I'm just seeing so much conjecture going on with the Garcia-Tank Davis fight and just let you know what's going on with, with Joe and all right now. And... Uh, Thank you very much for watching, Joe. I'm very, very thankful to everyone that has given us words of encouragement and uh, uh, very good to Joe. Uh, he's a very hard worker, and we certainly appreciate all the people that have helped us out, which have been many people. And love and peace to everybody and uh god bless you all and we'll be getting some more videos out soon thank you so much and see you soon